The national spotlight is on Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene again. A series of offensive tweets is prompting a backlash across the political spectrum. In her tweets, she compared COVID-19 mask policies to the Holocaust. As Fox 5's Rob Durienzo reports, local leaders in the Jewish community say they're appalled. The tweet from Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is just the latest controversial remark that's caused both sides of the aisle to condemn her. Tonight, she remains defiant, refusing to apologize. A political firestorm surrounding the Congresswoman who represents the northwestern part of Georgia in Congress. This time over tweets which liken COVID-19 mask mandates and proof of vaccination to the Holocaust. One of them about a grocery store chain says, quote, vaccinated employees get a vaccination logo just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. To be able to even conceivably compare the two is really disgusting. Dove Wilker, who runs the Atlanta chapter of the American Jewish Committee, called the tweet appalling, especially amid a surge of anti-Semitic attacks across the country. One is about public safety and public health. The other was the intentional extermination of over 6 million Jews. Even leaders of her own party outraged. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy saying, quote, Marjorie is wrong and her intentional decision to compare the horrors of the Holocaust with wearing masks is appalling. Let me be clear, the House Republican Conference condemns this language. It's, it's so beyond reprehensible that it's, I mean, it, it has no place in our country. Do you think she should be expelled or censured because of it, madam? <laughs> Taylor Green doubled down on the comments Tuesday afternoon, turning the tables on Democrats. She said, quote, I'm sorry, some of my words make people uncomfortable, but this is what the American left is all about. Later, she tweeted this video of her to show her support for Israel. We hope that she will stop using the Jewish community as a political tool. We hope that she will apologize for the use of these statements. We reached out to the Georgia Republican Party for comment along with county Republican leadership in Fulton, DeKalb and Cobb. None of them had any comment on the Congresswoman's tweets. In Atlanta, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.